so as per the previous requirement we are able to pass the column name and value but right now i have the new requirement like i need to pass the list of the column name and value so for that purpose we need to change some logic so let's change that logic okay so first i'm going to the intellij and first write the service method so uh, i think everyone knows the method overloading so same method name with different signature so i'm copying the method name and it should take the list of list of search request dtos okay and let me do the purel form of it okay okay so uh, after that i am going to use a return and once i click control space intellij suggest me this root query criteria builder so this is the lambda expression which return the specification okay so this and this is same only here you are just uh, getting root query and criteria builder inside the method but using lambda expression you can do the same also okay so i am opening and uh, uh, closing the bracket with semicolon because we are implementing it okay so uh, first we need a for loop okay for loop which iterate this search request dtos okay so let's uh, iterate it okay and what it will return it will return the search request dto okay so here uh, we return a request uh, request dto so uh, i am going to copy this line because what this line do it will it will return the predicate so sp uh, previously what we did we created only one predicate but here what we need to do we need to create the list of predicate okay so for that i am creating the list okay list of predicates okay predicates is equal to new array list okay so i am added i means i added the one array list okay now what i need to do i need to create a predicate for each and every request dto and add it into the this list okay so let's do that so uh, instead of being uh, i prefer copying and pasting so uh, this is criteria builder dot equal root dot get get column and get value okay so what it will return it will return you the predicate mm, currently okay let me introduce the local variable okay so it is going to return the equal okay let me remove the semicolon and because names are changed that's why it is giving the error so i'm going to give the correct name I request it you get name get value now what i need to do i need to add this equal predicate into the predicates okay so predicates dot add it's a simple core java only okay so i added so at last i need to return this a uh, list of predicates so what i do i am going to use return okay criteria builder dot equals no 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 here uh, we are we should use only two operator and or or uh, so yeah we we will go uh, on that operator later but right now we are using and so what is and basically so uh, consider the query like select star from the student where name is pratik and city is pune so for example we are concatenating the two uh, two attributes like city and name using and so if you use or it will concat using the or only now currently we are just uh, supporting and right now okay so uh, inside the and we need to pass all the predicates okay so how to pass the predicate predicate okay uh, so actually we need to predicates dot arrays uh, sorry to arrays and inside we need to add new predicate uh, okay new predicate and here we need to pass zero so this is how we are going to return the all predicates okay or we can say the simple uh, simple specification so now uh, our service is ready right uh, we need to have to do some changes in controller also because what happened in previously uh, let me uh, okay so this is one statement only so uh, here what we did uh, previously uh, we are just passing only one attribute like get search request 
DTO. Why? Because we are getting search request DTO only one input. But right now we uh, only one means uh, input as object. But right now what we want? We want to take a list from the front end or uh, uh, yeah or uh, from the uh, yeah from the postman okay so that's why i added the list okay so once i added the list i need to go to the filter controller okay uh, and it didn't give any error why because it is now targeting this method previously uh, that controller method targeting here okay so now let's run this program one more time and test it so yeah it is in progress okay so server is up let's go to the postman i'm opening the postman but right now what happened our request is changed previously it was the object now it is the list so i am going to pass list okay this is how we write list in json so in my bed okay so uh, let's test for name and uh, name is equal to gaurav for now okay i am going to show you the query okay so here select from student okay where name is equal to something that's what we are passing so what uh, we want next name and id is equal to something so how we are gonna do it so we are going to copy this again and we need to pass another column right another column is nothing but the id so id is 2 so i am going to pass id 2 only this time uh, and let's generate the query for now so uh, let me clear console one more time and hit it again so we can see direct first query okay so if you see uh, this query so now it is like student name is this and right now we are using operator and and student id is equal to something like 2 so we are passing this as an input okay so this is how you can take the multiple inputs from the api from the simple api and get the response what happen if i change the id you don't get any result because we don't have uh, I means we don't have uh, the actual data of gaurav with id 3 that's why it is not returning any result Thanks for watching.